tuning in for another Essential RC flight test and today we're looking at the new Durafly C5 Mark IIb from our friends at HobbyKing.com. Now I didn't actually know about the C5 until I got this model in the post from Hobby King but looking it up it's apparent that it played a, a major role in World War II. Um, it was of course derived from the Supermarine Spitfire but this C Spitfire or C Fire as they called it, was adapted for naval operations off aircraft carrier. Now this version comes with three what-if schemes, as uh, Durafly call it, fictitious schemes uh, that you can apply with the decals that are in the box. Um, choose uh, between one of those three to apply. Uh, the model itself, 1.1 metre wingspan, so it's a nice size that you can uh, easily put on the back seat of the car if you want to go out flying after a long day in the office maybe. Uh, it comes with everything in it um, ready installed so all you have to do is put in your receiver and your flight battery and you're ready to go. It's, it's going to take very little time to assemble this put it together. In terms of what it comes with, it comes with the speed controller, an Aerostar 50 amp brushless speed controller, it comes with the motor already installed and the prop, it comes with all the servos on the control surfaces already installed, electric retracts, split flaps that are going to enable it to fly really slow and stable when we want to come into land on slow passes, also comes with an LED navigation light system as well. Alright so let's not hang around, let's take the components out of the box, let's see what we get. Okay, so these are all the components out of the box. A very quick review. Uh, we've got a fuselage here, and you can see at the front we've got the motor already pre-installed. So we've just got to put the spinner and the propeller on the front. Very easy to do. Uh, inside, under this hatch, magnetic hatch, which um, you take off with just a little bit of clear tape. Um, you can see we've got the XT60 connector from the speed controller that's under here in the airflow so it's going to stay nice and cool. Our bat flight battery is going to go in here and be held in place by this provided Velcro strap and we've got the rudder and elevator um, cables to go into our receiver. We've got a nice scale pilot in place, nothing worse than an empty cockpit is there on the scale model. Wing is going to fit underneath on these four, four bolts with its cables, three cables from the wing going underneath for the ailerons, the flaps and the landing gear to put into our receiver. Moving towards the back of the fuselage, we're going to put the uh, elevator or horizontal stabilizer halves onto either side of this, this plastic peg here and hook up to the elevator there. We've got a steerable tail wheel that's um, on this push rod, it's, it's connected to that and uh, we've just got to hook up the push rod to the ball link on the, on the rudder. Very quick to do. So here are the, uh, the horizontal stabilizer halves with a carbon joiner and the ball link as well. Got a nice three blade prop and the wing itself as I said these three connections out which is good reduces the number of channels from the number of surfaces we got in here so we've got the two ailerons just gonna have to hook up the control rod the push rod to the ball link we've got the two uh, retracts and we've got the split flaps as well, which is a nice scale feature, and I know from previous Durafly Spitfires they are amazing. They really do allow the model to fly very, very slowly. Um, so fantastic features to have. And uh, that's it, I think. So uh, other than selecting one of the three decal sets to apply, and uh, I didn't point out that you've got these little scale ex plastic accessories to fit, like there's an aerial in there. Um, aerial in there and the exhaust stacks to put on either side of the uh, fuselage. Then we just got to fit one, uh, select one of the decal sets and uh, apply that. And that's probably the thing that's going to consume them the most time. Putting these Durafly models together is, is so uh, easy to do, very, very quick. Applying decals can take a little bit longer, but a little bit patience and it's, uh, and it's a job done and well worth doing to make it look fantastic in the sky. So let's not hang around, I'm going to put this together now, apply one of the decal sets and the next time you see this it's going to be down the flying field and we're going to get it in the air and tearing around. Okay so we're out with the new Durafly Supermarine Seafire uh, down the park. Small plane so no problem down the park, nobody about, it's nice and quiet down here, lovely day. 
So really easy to put this together. Not a lot of work to do. You just have to hook up the control surfaces to the flaps and to the and to the ailerons and the elevator and rudder. That takes a few minutes. Then you just have to glue on some of the scale accessories like the uh, the cannons on the front, the aerial, and the uh, and the mirror on top of the cockpit. Uh, and apply one of the three sets of decals that it come, comes with. And uh, I quite like the, uh, the lovely lady on the side there, so uh, um, I put that, that on. But there are th two other sets as well. And, uh, and put in your, your receiver, set it up with the radio, and put in your, your uh, LiPo batch flight pack, which can be a 3S, 2200 to 2600 pack, or a 4S, uh, 2200 pack. And I've gone for 4S, I like a bit of speed. But uh, let's see how it slows down with those, um, those split flaps. And just, I just showed you the, uh, the landing gear there. They work re that works really nicely, but the split flaps, you get big deflections on those. So I reckon like du other Durafly Spitfires, that this is gonna slow down really nicely. Okay, so let's give this a go.
it acting as a drone or a plane? In, in a minute, mate, I'm concentrating, if you don't mind. There you go, that's the new Durafly Supermarine Seafire from HobbyKing.com. Really, really fantastic. If you can get a model, put it together in half an hour, apply the decals and, uh, and do the maiden flight in flight like that, it's got to be fantastic, I, th I think. Perfectly balanced with the Forest 2200 pack, um, just, just behind uh, the, uh, the motor. And uh, it, it flies fast on 4S, it will fly really slow um, as well, particularly with those split flaps at the back. They really do slow it down nicely and the retracts as well work really well. Uh, the, the, I mean, I was landing fairly gently and the, the struts don't bend back and they go back into the wheel wells re really well and it looks fantastic in the air as well. So thanks for watching this one. You might want to subscribe to our YouTube channel using the button on the bottom left of the screen now. You might want to join our Facebook group as well where we have news reviews and the occasional free giveaway. But thanks for watching this one. See you next time.